We all know that the company Stedler as the company that makes pencils for drawing and mechanical pencils for drafting and all of the other tools that you can imagine. Today we'll take a deep dive into the mechanical pencils section of the company and review the 925235 series which is probably the most well known Stedler mechanical pencils out there. Other than this series, they also have the 9515 or 92577 and much more. So as in every video, if you want to take a look at the price itself, which is around $12 on Amazon, make sure to check out their website for more information. Here's the video construction and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Every pen has its own weight, length and center of gravity. I've added a corner to my video which I more covered this area. The 9525 and 35 are basically the same pen but with different colors. 25 being in silver and the 35 being in navy. The weight seems kind of heavy being at around 17 grams but the feeling when writing seems relatively light and I would say even better than the Pilot S20 which is probably arguably one of my most favorite pens. The review for the S20 is on my channel so if you're interested check it out. The reason is because the center of gravity is relatively close to the tip of the pen and is around 7.3 centimeters compared to the 6.5 centimeters of the S20, making it slightly more difficult to write with, in theory. But honestly, many people care too much about the center of gravity, and it's an overused term. But hey, I find it easy to write because my hand rests on the higher end of the pen, so I feel like it's pretty easy to write with. Unfortunately, I don't have the normal colors of the 92525 or 35, but instead, I have the limited black edition and pearl white edition. The white edition is really really rare and it is for the 30th anniversary of the 925-25-35 series. The black is still seen as rare compared to the normal colors but you can still find it regularly at stationery stores in Japan so I won't consider it as rare. I actually have two of the limited edition colors because I reserved the one with the puff condition for viewing purposes rather than actually writing with it because the grip will wear down very easily and turn a little bit yellowish. The pen is a drafty mechanical pencil so it comes with a 4mm lead sleeve at the tip which is the same as the Rotring 600. In the last video when I made a review of the Rotring, I mentioned that the Rotring actually has a more drafty mechanical pencil like design and I still stand by that statement. Speaking of which, let's move on to the design of this pen. Compared to the Rotring 600, this pen has a more normal looking design. I'm not saying that this is bad or anything, but I feel like this pen has less distinct design features compared to the 600. If you see the 600, you can instantly recognize it, but with the 92525, it becomes a little more difficult to tell apart from other 925 series. Although the 92525 doesn't have a particularly unique design, it sure is really, really practical. The body is made out of aluminum, so you can get a hefty feel from it. Not to mention, if you drop it, the lead sleeve is practically dead. From the top to the bottom, the Settler has a knot cap with the diameter of the lead printed on the top of it. A straight, bended clip made out of a single piece of metal, with the Mars logo embossed on it. And the body which has the Settler branding and logo printed out, followed by a node grip connecting all of the way to the lead sleeve at the tip of the pen. The sleek, simple design gives it a much more smooth feel to it and design-wise, I actually like this more than the 600. The wide selection of limited edition colors that will come out every now and then adds a wide selection of variety in the colors of this pen available. Personally, I really would love to have the Settler Japan 50th Anniversary Edition Blue on Gold, but that sells for about $50, which is hella expensive for a mechanical pencil that is going to wear down in a couple of months. Because this pen is so simple, there is only the features that you will definitely need for writing in general equipped on it. First of all, there are stripes cut on the knob cap for, I suppose, grip, and the eraser has a cleaner pin attached onto it for convenience when the lead gets stuck in the lead sleeve. Just at the top of the grip is a harness display window that displays the harness of 2B to 3H. Just in case any of you plan to use anything harder or darker, there is a blank space for all of you to have a great drafting experience. One problem that I have found is that it is kind of difficult to line the worlds perfectly at the middle of the window because there's no click as the 92515 has. Below that is the nailed grip. 
that can actually do some damage to your fingers. The nail grip is made out of tiny rectangles arranged in a way that makes it stick onto your fingers and never let loose. It also has bigger cutouts in between the rectangle section to maximize grip. So much so that after an extensive period of using it, it can start damaging your skin. It's not that severe so don't care about it too much but if your skin gets irritated in this way, you might have to keep an eye out for this grip. On the tip of the pen is a little bit of nerd grip can still be seen and it connects in a smooth way all the way to the lead sleeve. Settler offers a variety of lead diameters to choose from 0.3mm all the way to a lead holder for sketching. If you are interested in some of the points that I haven't covered in the video, feel free to check out the website and the link will be in the description. Although this pen only costs $11, the build quality is actually out of this world. For stationary beginners, this is one of the best pens to get starting out because you can get a real taste of what stationary is really all about without spending a fortune to get the best of the best pens. I have a rather gentle writing style, so I was pleasantly surprised when the pen produced heavy duty sounds when writing. Just hear this. This is probably because of the sturdy knock cap and its minimal ruffling design, as well as the pen as a whole. After a bit of writing though, my hands got a little irritated, so I can recommend if you are not sensitive in your fingers. I only accept perfection on my stationery, so when the grip scratched easily after touching another nail grip pen, I was a little bit disappointed. So keep it away from other pens because it will definitely damage it and could possibly damage the pen itself. I am speaking from experience, so please trust me. Speaking of which, let's move on to the actual writing experience. We will judge this pen on how good the feel, grip, stableness, agility, visibility, design, price, and the overall score, from a scale of 1 to 5. To start off is the feel of this pen. It is safe to say that even though it isn't heavy as other pens, it sure can produce some ASMR while writing. When I study, I use a sheet of paper just like this so I can hear clearly the sound of mechanical pencils. So I'll give this a solid 4. Next up is the grip of the pen. As I mentioned before, the grip will start hurting after a long session of writing. Not to mention that it has a tendency to rip paint off of any pen you put close to it. However, it is still a solid grip though, so I will have to give the grip a 3 star, just for how grippy it is. The design which I like will also get 3 stars. Yes, it is not really unique in any way, but every single part of it is optimized to be a drafty mechanical pencil, and it just looks really nice. Durability wise, it isn't really that durable considering that it has a lead sleeve of 4mm and it has a relatively heavy body which will certainly crush the lead sleeve, making me and you upset. I have to give this a 4 star, but with a solid protection, you can pretty much erase the possibility of the lead sleeve getting crushed without you noticing. For agility, it is pretty light and it is really really easy to write because the center of gravity is just around where I hold the pen and it is honestly at the perfect position for me to write so I'll give it a 4 stars. However, it may vary depending on your hand size so just take that with a grain of salt. Finally, it's time to reveal my overall score. My overall score for the 9252535 will be 4.5 stars. You may be wondering, hey Jack, the overall score is higher than all of the other ratings. But just wait a minute, I will explain. This pen is around $11, but the quality is unseen in other pens at its price range. If you're interested in getting into pens or want an affordable mechanical pencil that won't break the bank, which is still very, very high in quality, this is actually the best mechanical pencil for you. So the summary is that the Settler 9252535 is a must-have in anybody's collection. And you should definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see more high-quality videos like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. 
I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.